So now let's see how we can work around with the dot matrix effect inside of head film. So over here you can see that I have this clip right here and in order to access the dot matrix effect I'm going to go around under effects right here and then I'm going to go around over here and expand out the grunge um, uh, folder right here. So once I do that here you can see that dot matrix is an option. So if I were to go around and drag this out over here on my particular um, um, a particular clip right here, then you can see that there's like this matrix effect right, that you have right here. So you can see that as I were to actually go around, you can see the dot matrix effect into play right here. So you can go around and change around the seed as you can see right here. And then uh, you can see that that is what you have. You can go around and change around the size of the dot matrix. So you can go around and decrease it or increase out the size right here. Then you can go around and change around the coverage right here. So you can go around and make sure that some of the uh, um, some of the uh, pixels are not like, not working right here, or uh, make sure that everything is working right here. Then you can also go around and change around the gradient level of the dot matrix right here. It's like this. Then you got the position as you can see right here. So you can go around and change around the position. You can also go around and click and drag this out to change around the position of the dot matrix right here. Then you can also go around and change around the shape of the dot matrix to either square or circle right here and change around the size as well of the dot matrix right here. So there's a bit of gap and so forth. You can also go around and change around the gradient type of dot matrix right here. And then you can also go around and work around with the alpha and the aspect ratio of the dot matrix as well. So you can go around and expand this out right here or decrease this out in size right here. You got the mat over here as well. So you can go around and on to, let's say, for example, mix right here, just like this. And then what happens is that you can go around and enable the mat right here as well. You can enable and disable it. And then you got the variation, so you can go around and change around the noise, the scale shape, and so forth, as you can see right here. So you can go around and uh, make some changes, as you can see right here. You can also go around and make around some distortion, as you can see right here, to make sure that it uh, is a bit distorted, and so forth, as you can see. And you can go around and make the changes accordingly, and get this dot matrix effect, as you can see, just like this. And this is how you can utilize the dot matrix effect inside of hit film. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.